Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Ruin Snow and we're going to discover Let's Talk Legendary with Tolarian Academy. That's right, it's not a creature, but a place. So let's begin talking about Tolarian Academy. The Tolarian Academy was run for research as well as a school located on the plain of Domeria. The Academy was on an island that was founded by Baron and Urza in the year 3285 AR. AR is representing After the Reckoning. The original purpose of the school was actually to create a bunch of elite mages for the Phyrexian invasion that was about to happen. The original headmaster, Urza himself, when he was th not there, some other person took a charge. That was typically Rain, Jehora, or Baron. The Tolarian Academy actually created many things throughout its history. One such thing was the Bloodline Project, which was creating the genetically engineering for the perfect warrior. This was actually the Methotherian soldiers which were typically blue creatures in honor of the Thran civilization that does not exist anymore. The second thing that the Academy created was slow time water. This was actually water that gave people extremely long lives, which most of the faculty actually drank. A third item that the Academy created was soul bonds. These were very powerful bombs based on Thran design. Such devices had to be fueled by souls. And because of this, Baron and Urza actually argued about this quite often. Another one, the fourth item that such a Tolarian Academy created was the Skyship Weatherlight, the most famous ship of all. This ship was actually able to travel from one plane to another, and this ship was actually built from Thran Metal and the Weather Seed. And one such last thing that the Tolarian Academy created was the Nine Titans. They were a group of planeswalkers to attack Phyrexia, which was brought together by Urza. There are actually two instances where the Tolarian Academy actually had been destroyed. And the first time was actually the result of what Karn had did. Jehora was killed by a sleeper agent. So therefore, Karn wanted to take a time machine and go back to save her. The result was he was able to save her, but the machine malfunctioned and destroyed the academy. As a result of this, it caused what was known as the time rift. This is what happened when a fracture in the plane, such as Domeria, where it was, happened. And it even affected other planes, such as Ogarath and the Dead Zone. After some time, approximately 10 years later, Urza, Baron, and Karn returned to re-establish a new Tolarian Academy. What they had found was Johara was actually alive, while Tafiri was stuck in a time bubble, which they eventually were able to get him out of that bubble. Another and the second time that was the Academy was destroyed was when the Phryxians had invaded the Academy as a result of the Phryxians' battle. Baron destroyed the entire Academy and the island which it sat upon. There were even occupants on the island at the time of this destruction. So with that final and last destruction of the island, they actually had started developing new Tolarian academies all throughout the area. There seems to be at least five that stand out from all the rest. One is Tolaria of the Depths, which is actually located on the ruins of the old Tolarian Academy in the water. The second one is the Shadow Academy, which is supposedly a secret network located in some pocket location. The third one is called Orvada, which is actually located in the city of Orvada on the island of Wasasa. And the fourth one is actually called Toleria West, which is located on the small island of the Spice Isles. The fifth one is located at Latnam, which is a bunch of several islands that survived all types of cataclysms. These islands are generally referred to as the Teresian Isles. Because of all the academies separating, actually there were several types of lineages that started to form, known as 1. The Urzans which focuses on artifice, temporal mechanics, and genetics. There was also Baronites, which also concentrated on sorcery, ethical problems, temporal mechanics, and administration. The third one is known as the Rarians, which actually did the improvement of artifacts and recruitment. This, supposedly, there might be a fourth one, which is kind of like a secret cult, which also performed elitical genetic experiments. Like academies in real life, they needed money, so actually they got most of their funding from tuition. They started to work with also agriculture and aquaculture as well. There are very famous faculty and students from the Tolarian Academy, which we won't go into much detail, such as Adeliz, Alexi, Baron, Erte, Gatha, Hannah, Jehora, Nabin, Narumiha, Rain, Tefri, and of course, Urza. And with that being said, there are a lot of cards that Tolarian Academy is represented or associated or referred to. There's basically a whole 
I guess, mythos around Tolarian Academy. And the first card, as you can see, we, we've been talking about is Tolarian Academy. It's a legendary land. It says, add one blue to your mana pool for each artifact. And the saying is pretty cool. The Academy worked with time until time ran out. And if you're listening, that's pretty ironic with, you know, Karn going back in time, therefore destroying Tolarian Academy because time ran out. And the second card that Tolarian Academy is representing, as you can see, is Academy Ruins when the destruction of the Academy. It's a legendary land, and the picture is from Modern Masters. It says, add one colorist to your mana pool, or pay one and one blue mana, put target artifact card from your graveyard on top of your library. And the saying goes, its secrets once wrought the greatest artifice ever known. Now crabs loot the rubble to decorate their shells. I think that saying is really cool for the ruins. A third such card is Academy at Tolaria West. It is an outreach after Tolarian Academy had been destroyed. The picture is very cool and as you can see, Plain Domain Area, that's where it's from. At the beginning of your end step, if you have no cards in your hand, draw seven cards. And whenever you roll, discard your hand. Again, this is not from the typical Magic series. This card is very cool. I like the artwork. It is very representative of what Tolarian Academy had looked like. Now we're going to start with cards that Tolarian Academy is associated with. And it's really cool. Like as you can see with the first one, it's Academy Drake. It is Drake for the Academy. And if you look in the background, and there is the Academy. Another card there, as you can see, is Academy Journey Mage. It was really cool. It's a human wizard. And it says, we don't choose who comes here. We choose how long they stay. And then you can look in the background. There is the Academy. So that's really associated really with the Tolarian Academy. Next card on the list is Academy Raider. There's no sayings or anything like that. But as you can see, just based on the picture, obviously he's going to raid the Academy. The next card that is associated with the Tolarian Academy is the Cleric Academy Rector. And again, going into more detail about the mythos about Tolarian Academy, the, this person is actually quite important. The next card, as you can see, is Academy Researchers. It's human wizards. And it's really cool. I like the books in the background on their hairstyle that really gives them, <laughs> you know, research look, I guess. And the saying is, they brandish their latest theories as warriors would wield weapons. So it's really cool because, again, researchers are constantly researching and they can get a lot of information. Next card on the list is Baron, Tolarian Archmage. Picture is really cool. The background is very cool and detailed. And the saying is, there is no age at which you stop learning, which is kind of ironic because they drank the water to prolong their life and they're always constantly learning themselves. Another card that is on the list is a Tolarian Scholar, and the saying is, the Tolarian Academies embrace a tradition of study and research while discouraging the kinds of experience that ruined the original island of Tolaria, which is very true. The next card is pretty obvious. It says Urza, Academy Headmaster. Those abilities are unglued, so it's really odd, but again, that's really cool. I like the card. The next series of card is Tolarian Academy is referred to, which I think are really cool because I love sayings in card. As you can see with the first card, Arcane Flight. <laughs> the Tolarian Academies are known for their magical research, powerful sorcerers, and accidental destruction of ecosystems. <laughs> it's really hard to laugh because I love that. <laughs> the cat has wings. Oh, the saying is perfect. I love it. The next card is Douse from the Urza Sega series, and it's an enchantment and the ability is counter target red spell play this ability as an interrupt uh, but again it is referred to as you can see in the saying the academy's libraries were protected by fire prevention spells even after the disasters the books were intact though forever sealed in time <laughs> next card on the list is frantic search and this one is actually from urza's legacy there's one from ultimate masters that has a different saying and this one says motivation was high in the academy once students realized flunk in their exams could kill them <laughs> Look at the guy in the picture. He's like totally freaking out. I think it's funny. And the other frantic search is you can see the picture is really cool. You can tell it's some kind of some of academy and it says it took the banning of temporal manipulation of Tolaria West to teach the students of the value of time, right? Because they can go back in time and study more. Again, saying is absolutely perfect. The next card is Ignite Disorder, which is ironically a red card. It says the shame and proud the academy halls, shaking his head at the pomp and bauble of the sages inside. He knew just the spell to liven up the place, and he's getting ready to get the fire going. And the next card is Pardic Wanderer, and it's referring to as, in the saying, to the head of archaeological findings, the excavation schedule at dig site 93 beta must have be revised. Piter, the site has walked off to Laren Field Dispatch. <laughs> Another, I'm laughing because look at the picture as well for that one. Now we have Relic Runder. And the saying is, her knack for tampering with the wards got her kicked out of the academy, 
but they also got her back in because again relic runner she looks like she's stealing some artifacts from the academy which you can see in the background during nighttime the next card is rescue and you can see he's trying to rescue the books and it says with just a few seconds to escape darian saved hercules additions on restoring the physical objects from ash which is really smart of him because then he can restore all these artifacts that were in the fire another card is sage of latinam and the saying is Though it was laid to waste by the brothers, many schools of magic trace their origins to the College of Latinam, including the first Tolarian Academy. The next card, which I just love in general, is Show and Tell, and it says the saying, at the Academy, Show and Tell too often becomes run and hide. <laughs> and look at all the things in the background. It's just, I love the saying, it's just so good. The next card is Sparing Construct. It's an artifact creature, and it says, The trainers were a gift of gratitude from the Wizards of Teleria West to the Knights of the New Millennia for their aid during the Tales of Incursion. Next such card is Teferi's Protege, and it's saying is, Teferi's legacy lives on in Teleria, though the study of time and magic and tradition of irrepressible mischief. Because <laughs> uh, I think that's a little, another funny saying next card is Temporal Adept, and as you can see with the people in the background, you're definitely at some kind of academy and he is learning, and the saying is, if yesterday was two days ago, tomorrow, will the day after tomorrow be today or yesterday? Temporal Manipulation 101, Final Exam, Tolarian Academy. The next card on the list is Tolarian Kraken. That's right, a Kraken. And the saying is, it's complative, resourceful, and original. Everything else aside, it is the perfect student. Now, Bane. Dean of the Aeration. And the last card on our list is Treachery, and it says, The Academy educates and I employ. It is a perfect arrangement. Gatha, the Tolian Renegade. And he was actually trained in the school, and this is so far the only card that is referred to or shown as Gatha. So I really hope you like this video, and I hope you guys have a good day and a good evening.